April 4, 2003. It was around 2.35 a.m. when video surveillance captured a man desperately trying to flag down a motorist passenger after being brutally stabbed to death. Arriving at the scene, police discovered a gruesome scene with the body of Bob Lee lying on a cold-blooded area, body laying down on the sidewalk on the 400 block of Main Street. But what appeared to be a targeted or random attack will soon turn into a possible homicide when a knife belonging to a man seen earlier with Lee will leave everyone thinking this could have been a homicide or a self-defense. What really happened during the night of April 4th that led to the murder of Bob Lee? Was he attacked by a random guy? As we learn about the horrible tragedies of this case, we would like to express our sincere condolences to the loved ones of Bob Lee, who have suffered dearly from this loss. We would also like to take a moment to raise awareness about the graphics content in this video and inform this video is only for educational purposes. As the investigation unfolds, many details of a possible self-defense came to life. From different sources, evidence has shown that Bob Lee and Kazar Eliasnia, married to Dino Elasnia, a successful plastic surgeon had an affair, informed of the situation Bob Lee was having with his sister. Manini was upset that his friend could have done such things, especially leading her to consume drugs. A text message recovered by a police officer on April 11 from Bob Lee's phone showed a conversation between Lee and Kazar saying, Just wanted to make sure you're doing okay, because I know Nima came way down hard on you. And thank you for being such a classy manhandling it with class love, you selfish pricks. For many people, this could have been an argument between the two that turned into a deadly fight. As you can see, Lee and Nima take the elevator heading down to the lobby and before getting inside Nima's BMW. Nothing showed a sign of dispute between them and as his defense team mentioned in his trial. Nima Manini had no reason to commit such atrocious and heinous murder, which was possible that Lee could have had the knife in his possession, and noted that someone under the influence of drugs like cocaine and ketamine could behave irrationally. One theory said that Bob Lee could have been stabbed by a total stranger who might have reacted to Bob Lee's insult, especially when we know that the autopsy found a trace of cocaine in his body which could have led him to act strange. Unfunded accusations started to emerge recently when video surveillance was released showing a mysterious hooded figure walking in the same street shortly after the attack. But despite all those arguments, there are a lot of facts that still prove this wrong. First, how the alleged murder weapon had Nima's DNA and was found at the murder scene. How the defense can explain and prove that the timeline and evidence of actions shown in this surveillance camera from Millennium Tower shows Bob Lee and Nima Momini leaving together and entering Momini's white BMW, driving Lee to a dark and secluded area in Rinson Hill, south of the financial district, before being stabbed multiple times. For the prosecutors, there is no doubt that this crime was planned and well intended to take the life of 43-year-old Bob Lee, who co-founded the mobile payment service provider Cash App. But who is Manini? 38 years old, Nima Momini attended the University of California, mentioned in his LinkedIn profile. Originally from Iran, he initially started his IT career in 2005, working as a network engineer at Marfic Technologies and subsequently at Coast Range Technologies before founding Expanded, a tech company supporting clients in healthcare, finance, and startups in the Bay Area and San Jose. Owner of an apartment at 4053 Harlan Street in Emeryville, purchased for $525,000 in 2020, Momini was described by his attorney and Sam Singer, a San Francisco area PR executive who had an office next to the suspected killer as a hard worker. Very nice, welcoming guy. But despite being nice and welcoming to his colleagues, Momini is not seen by everyone as an angel. Momini had a brief criminal history in 2011. He was charged in Alameda County with selling a switchblade knife and driving with a suspended license and drunk driving in 2004. 
At the age of 20, Nima Momini allegedly stabbed a pair of teenagers who were reported attacked him first, but he was able to get away with it. Bob Lee's Final Moments April 3, 2003 It was around 3.30 when a witness went to Lee's room in a hotel located at the 1500 block of Mission Street. He met Momini's sister drinking with Lee, things that he found strange since she was still married at this time. Suddenly, the witness noticed that Lee was having a conversation with Mamani, who was questioning Lee about his sister. The conversation was not aggressive, but far from a casual discussion. Apparently, Momini was unhappy about a suspicious and unhealthy affair Lee was having with his sister. After the party, around 12.39 a.m., a surveillance camera showed Lee entering the Millennium Tower where Khazar lived. Everything seemed calm in the building when a surveillance camera captured a moment where Momini and Lee left the Millennium Tower in this car, showing, as you can see on the screen, a kitchen knife in the car, the same weapon which will later be seen at the crime scene. It was 2.30 a.m. Five minutes later, FPD responds to a 911 call on 365 Main Street. The man on the phone is no other than Bob Lee, brutally stabbed three times. And a few minutes later, they received another call advising that Lee is bleeding. 14 hour copy. There's a male screaming help saying someone stabbed me. He is not giving a 20. This is a cell phone site location. Advise he's bleeding out. Medics are around code three. He is back. 1756. 365 Main, cross off Fulton and Harrison. However, that's a cell phone site. We're still waiting for an exact 20. He is outside. Unfortunately, he failed to alert Passersby and even came to the door to call for help, but no one responded. Arriving at the scene, police discovered a body in a cold-blooded area at the entrance of the building with the same knife earlier spotted in Momini's car. The news is devastating tech co-founder of Cash App Bob Lee is pronounced dead at the hospital. Such a terrible and sad ending for a man who is the father of beautiful children and didn't deserve to die in such an atrocious and horrible way. As the tech world was absorbing the news, Mamini was arrested and charged as the prime suspect in the murder of Cash App founder Bob Lee and his trial hearing beginning. One question that come from many journalists at the trial was how the defense will try to make this murder look like self-defense when all the evidence proves them wrong. For you, what do you think of this?